Hello, my name is Gregor Mitchell, and for the game's programming module, I have developed the game Outbreak, a top-down shooter set in a hostel during the beginning of a zombie virus. Here we can see the main title screen. We've got play, options, and exit. Exit just takes you out of the game. Options takes you to the options menu, where you can choose to mute the master volume, or change it with a slider for as loud or as quiet as you want it. You can change the resolution of the game as well, and you can change uh, whether or not it's full screened or windowed. Uh, all assets and including uh, characters, backgrounds and music have been developed by myself for this game. So we'll click play, it takes us to the first level. So you find out when you wake up from the on-call room uh, that the hostel has been overtaken by a zombie virus. You must develop the cure and escape. Use the WASD keys to move and the player will also face whatever way the mouse is as well. Uh, you press spacebar to punch, this will stun zombies but only, and it will stop them from chasing you but only for a small amount of time. You need to collect all the parts of the antidote and head to the staircase to the lab. So here we are. Collect one of the parts there. So here we are, we're going to let this zombie start chasing us and as you can see they're using a pathfinding algorithm which means that they will continue chasing us as long as we are within a certain radius. As soon as we get far enough away they will stop. So stun him there as well. He is now standing on top of that part, so we have to wait for him to move and stun him again. Sneak past. And there we are. So we've now collected all the parts and we are making our way to the staircase where we begin the next level. So we have now developed the cure, uh, which has now been loaded into our dart gun, which you use with the left mouse button. Um, but you can only uh, cure the zombies once they've been stunned, so you must punch them first. So you need to head through this level curing as many as you can and there we are. So as you can see whenever the zombies get close to you they will start attacking. Um, if you just stand still and let them keep attacking you, uh, you will die as you can see here and you will be restarted back to the start of uh, that specific level. So we're going to work our way through here, try our best to not die. As you can see, the zombies are all chasing us into this room using the door. So we're going to work our way through it. So there we are, we play these rooms. I'm going to wait for our health to recharge a little bit there, so we don't get killed. As you can see, and there we are, we've died again. So when you only have one zombie chasing you, it's not too much of a breeze, not not too hard. But as, uh, as soon as more than one zombie gets close to you and even surrounds you, um, it can definitely get a bit more challenging. Let my health recharge before I enter that room again. Don't want to get surrounded by those three zombies. There we are. So now we're nearly at the end of the level. So it's just one more, and there we are. So we are now making our way into the third level. Where we're going to have to fight our way through, and we'll finally be able to escape. There we are. Room. As you can see when we get hurt we are uh, turning red briefly for a second and then we get hurt enough and we die.
you can see you've got the boss and it's going to be here. So he does not just die in one hit like the other zombies, it will take a bit more to kill him. Um, but it does make up for him being uh, stronger, he is a lot slower as well. So we have hopefully nearly killed him. Should just be one more hit. And there we are. And that is the end of the demo, at which point in the full game you would uh, advance on to the next level as well. Thank you very much for watching.